So we got Chris Christie criticizing uh, the Republican Party uh, yesterday. And yesterday we had mentioned that Representative Mumble Kings was criticizing, saying, I wouldn't donate anything to the Republican Party, but based on what they've been doing. Well, today he's singing a different song because his best friend, John Bonaire, Bonaire, who he was trash-talking yesterday, all of a sudden is a much better guy today. This is, this is pretty stunning, too, because here's, it's, it's a perfect example. I don't mind you being callous and different to somebody else, but when you do it to me, that's immoral. I, I, I swear to God, I think what happened with Peter King is that they, they basically said to him, like, dude, you're not going to be allowed to hold your anti-Muslim hearings anymore if you keep acting like this. So here's Representative King going on Matt Lauer's show. Matt Lauer apparently couldn't find an actress to, um, <laughs> to have on his show to, to basically comment about her body parts. So he, she, he had uh, the next best thing, which is this a-hole. Uh, go ahead. Speaker Boehner had a, quote, dismissive and cavalier attitude toward New York and New Jersey, and you went further. You said, Republicans have no trouble finding New York when it comes to raising money, and I would just say to anyone from New York or New Jersey who contributes one penny to congressional Republicans after this should have their head examined. Do you stand by those comments? I stand by what I said at the time. I thought it was time for shock therapy, which is why I said it. Did I you mean it, though? At the time I did, absolutely, because if we did not get this aid, this would be disastrous for the people of New York. This wasn't some special gimmick we were looking for. This is life and death. I have people in my district living in the back of cars, living in dilapidated homes. So at the time I met it, having said that, we met with John Boehner yesterday. John agreed to put everything that we wanted uh, on the calendar. It'll be voted on. The money will be there. So and John Boehner is a friend. And I okay, so basically what, what, what Representative King has basically said is like, we threatened to withhold money uh, for people's electoral campaigns, and then they came through, and that's the way the system should work. I mean, God forbid New York was not a, a place where there was some value uh, electorally, right? I mean, these guys are just completely bereft of any sense of decency. Government should only function to help people when it directly impacts the political futures of those people involved. Give him credit well, you for came out of that meeting yeah. now, and not only do you say he's a friend, you say you'll vote for his re-election as right. Speaker of the House. I want to go back to your words. John Boehner has a dismissive and cavalier attitude toward New York and New Jersey. You represent people in a district of right. New York. How can you vote for a Speaker who has a dismissive and cavalier attitude toward people in your district? Because what's done is done. The fact is, when the money was on the line yesterday, when the decision had to be made, John Bain made the right decision. John Bain agreed to put it all on the calendar. The vote will be held. I wish it had been done the other night. I wish it had been done yesterday morning. The fact is, it is going to be done by January 15th. And uh, if, if we're going to carry grudges for the rest of our lives, we'll never get anything well, done. Well, just take me slightly inside that meeting yesterday. Yeah, we're going to carry grudges for the rest of our lives. Well, you know what you could do is you could just remember that the Republican Party are full of a bunch of hypocrites who, uh, who could give a crap about um, this area or any area that doesn't directly impact them. And this is the entire sensibility of the entire party. That's not a grudge. I like how the guy who hates all Muslims because of an event that happened over 10 years ago is the one talking about let's not hold grudges our entire lives. Right, yeah. We're not going to get anything done. Blah, 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 blah. John yeah. Boehner is a guy who's known not to mince his words when he's angry. Did he call you out for publicly calling him out on Wednesday? No, not at all. He did make a joking, uh, obscene reference with a smile, and then he said, I love you. And then we went into the meeting. And uh, he was actually very cordial, very, uh, very businesslike. There, there, there's something mentally wrong with these people. <laughs> it was great. He, you know, he told me I was an F and A hole, and uh, then we made the, out. He did it with a smile. He did it with a smile. We God, made out. Told me, told me. <laughs> Bye, God. Told me I was an F and A hole. It was very businesslike. Listen, I, I, I went was. down and I saw one of those people sleep, sleeping in a car, and I just, you know, in the in Long Island, and I just said, "Hey, you F and A hole. You got two more weeks before the money comes." <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. These people are just unbelievable. <laughs>